In today's video, we're channeling our inner Victorians. We're getting sighted for steam, potty for punch and totally transfixed by a tram. Yes, we're in Llandidno and it's the Victorian extravaganza. If you don't know us, I'm Rachel and the one with the record is Wills and we're postcards in a pint. So tell us about today's vlog then, Rach. Now, it was supposed to be a really rainy day today, so we thought, I know, we'll show you things to do inside in Llandidno. We've got here, it's got its own microclimate, so it's not raining, and there's a Victorian fair on. We're going to check that out instead. Come on! So that'll be the day we check out all things Victorian. Llandidno has an absolutely stunning Victorian promenade. This is separated completely from the road by a small wall and flower beds, so walkers can enjoy the sea air and stunning views. The beach is mostly stones, and watch out for the seagulls, they're brutal, but... How beautiful this land did know. It really is. Uh, thanks for that, Mr and Mrs Tour Guide. Stunning review. Carry on walking and see if you can find this Victorian fair. Oh, hello, that's very chitty chitty bang bang. But I suspect just a bit later than Victorian times. Great fun though. What do you say, Mr Mad Hatter? Hang on a minute, I thought this was Victorian day. This looks like a Hellraiser's paradise. Explain yourself, young man. How do you do? I'm the, uh, the chairman of the Goldwing Light Parade. And you can see all our bikes lined up on the promenade here. And uh, we'll be holding uh, an event on the 2nd of September, uh, which will be the Goldwing Light Parade, helping to raise money for Welsh Air Ambulance. A very worthy cause. So if you want to see these beasts ride the streets of Llandidno, September the 2nd's the date. Do you know what Mr Punch's favourite food is, boys and girls? Sausages. Sausages. Well, no, this is more Victorian. Mr Punch's favourite food is sausages. I'm hungry and I like sausages too. You'll have to wait, lad. It's not even midday. Ah, you can't beat a good Punch and Judy show at the seaside. Totally on PC, filled with violence, and the kids love it. A good soaking for the kids. A bite of Mr Punch. I think that would be more than ow. This Punch and Judy show in Llandidno is Codman's. It is the longest running Punch and Judy show in Britain, founded by Richard Codman in 1860. The fifth generation of the Codman family, Jason, now runs the show. We had such an interesting chat with him about the history. Long may you continue, Jason. OK, Wills, it's now lunchtime and chips it is. Now, young man, you're going to deliver your chips via... Slides. One of probably like three slides in the country. OK, if you say so. We've no idea what the slides do other than entertain you while you wait. What kind of day is it, Rach? Proper seaside day. It's a chippy lunch. I promise you, we do eat vegetables and green food during the week. It's just when you're at the seaside... Hang on! No, we've never seen one of those before. Amazing! I've never seen one of those before, either. This was a parade of road locomotives, and what a sight they were. They were very small ones. Some bigger ones giving people a ride. We'd never seen anything like this before and enjoyed the show. Back in the day, they were used for heavy haulage and the showman's road locomotives were decorated and used for haulage and powering fun fair rides. I think that one must have powered It's a Small World. Our favourite fact of today was that Conway Council refused to close the road for their parade, but they're all roadworthy, licensed and insured, so they did it anyway, and caused traffic chaos. Now this Victorian fair, chaps, are you ever going to get there? We are so easily distracted. We're going to finally find this Victorian fair. Ooh, a Ferris wheel. We all know what happens next. You're predictable if nothing else. We've got to say, though, this vintage one doesn't half move faster than those modern ones. Go on, tell us where you are. We're on an old big wheel. And it's very creaky. It's ace. It was very creaky and very ace. Best creaky face, please. Cheers. It didn't half go at a pace, and we had great views of the rest of the fair. But soon it was time to get off and continue. Hmm, that doesn't look Victorian, and neither does that. And the last time I checked, Thomas rocked up in 1946. Anyway, I digress. We were on a mini mission to buy Wills's mum some seaside rock. Oh, hello. The Victorians would definitely not approve of those. That's more like it. I see the Rachel Rock is very popular. We got Wills's mum some rock and headed out to the fair once again. OK, 
okay, this seems to be a modern fair with modern food and a few vintage rides. But we're having a great time and we love the old Victorian colonnades in Llandidno too. The road locomotives were showing right in the middle of the fair so it was brilliant to get up close to these magnificent machines. And the smell of the steam? Well, that was amazing. Ah, back to the vintage again. And there's even a vintage bus selling. Fudge! It did look good, but a bit too sweet for us. They look kind of depressed. And he looks like a tentacled twit. You look fabulous. <laughs> you really do. Oh no, every week. We walked through the fair with the now new purpose of finding said fair, but... Oh dear. <laughs> we wanted to find a few more vintage rides. Nope, that's not looking very vintage at all and I'm not going on it. Now that's more like it. Memories of a bucket and spade holiday down in Devon and a nightly go on the Helter Skelter. Champion. The full name of this event is the Llandidno Victorian Extravaganza. This was a static display by the Queen Victoria Rifle Volunteer Corps. Top work, lads. We were almost at the end of the fair now. We saw a few more vintage carousels. Another one of those very fast big wheels. There goes one, there goes one, there goes none, and then this. A vintage steam organ. Brilliant. Don't worry, we're not late, we still have half the day left. It was lovely seeing all of those who had dressed up for the event. And German sausage? I didn't think things were going too well with Germany back then. But we're having a lovely day. And the sun's out! So much so that the teacup ride is giving it Ibiza vibes. No, you can keep that ride, we're in a Victorian kind of mood. We're going to ride on the Great Orm Tramway, Britain's only cable-hauled tramway that travels on public roads. It opened in 1902, so it's perfectly Victorian. The station it departs from is aptly named Victoria Station. That'll do for us. Ah, those elegant Victorian tourists would say... I'm on a tram. They'd have probably put it a lot more eloquently than that, but it really is special to ride up the Great Orm Victorian style. Along the road you go, having a good nose in everyone's gardens while the cars pass you on the other side. It feels very elegant and sophisticated to travel like this. Hello, Tram 4! Channeling my inner Victorian here. The higher up you get, the more beautiful the views behind you become. Pretty soon we were at the halfway station. Everybody out? The line is made up of two sections, each section being an independent funicular, so it was all change. Tramway number two, right to the top. As you near the top, the views become ever more beautiful, even on a cloudy day like today. Here we are, it's the end of the line. Thanks chaps for a lovely journey up the orb. Then we were free to explore the summit. Crikey the queue to get down is busy. Now, did you enjoy your first tram journey, Wills? Champion, now let's go and see what we can find. See what I did there? Mmm, the canteen looks packed. But that's all right, we've had chips. But a gift shop? Don't mind if we do. Ooh, a postcard. Go on, you know I can't resist them. We've been up here many times and always enjoyed the views from the top. It's beautiful. One thing we'd never done from here, though, is fly the drone. Enjoy. There is also a cable car up and down the Orm, but it was too windy to operate this day. After we'd reached the summit, we decided to head down to the Great Orm Cemetery that we'd heard so much about. 
The cemetery was officially opened in 1865 and lies adjacent to St Tudno's Church. The thing that struck us first of all was the views and the sheep. There are some stunning sculptures. We love this little fella, happy as Larry the Lamb in his grave, jumping on the grass and then scratching his face. Bless. Although this building looks like a church, we believe it's just a maintenance building. The church of St Tudno lies just across the way. We were fascinated by all the different types of sculptures, monuments and crosses here, and we spent far longer here than we intended to. So what are you making of this cemetery then, Rach? What a beautiful place, we've never been here before. Love there's a sign saying close the gate to keep the sheep out. They're so in there already. That baby was gorgeous. One thing, it is deep. It certainly was. And sadly, we'd left ourselves only a few minutes to see the church. Oh well, we'll show you that another day. That was a lovely little detour to St Tudnall's Church and now we've walked back to the halfway stop to get us a tram back down. Oh, it's, we've walked. We have, and we're going to try and go on the pier next. Join us there. Our cheeky plan was to catch the tram at the halfway station to beat the queues at the summit. As everyone else changed trams, we'd already be in the line. Cunning. Not only did our cunning plan work, we got the best seats on the tram with these fabulous neighbours. Thank you. <laughs> We're near each other. You like the tram? We all sit in here. <laughs> I think she's attached to me and the dogs. Yup, we were in dog heaven all the way down. We enjoyed some more cracking views whilst petting dogs. We said hello to tram number five whilst petting dogs. Hiya! We were then back on the roads, still petting dogs. It was a great trip back down. All too soon we were back at the station. Thanks Tram 4. We then went for a drink in the Queen Victoria. Bet you didn't see that one coming John. In all honesty, I just needed a wee. So we got a coke and a beer. Cheers. We're having a lovely day. The sun's now out and we've just got the pier to go. I've forgotten my 10 peas, so no penny falls for me today. The tide was now well and truly out and we admired the magnificent Victorian seafront. We've done that Ferris wheel before, so there was no need to ride that one today. The shops were all open and it was a really energetic atmosphere. Thanks again Ryan for saving Wrexham Football Club and helping our views. So what had started out as what to do in London now in the rain had turned into a grand summer's day. Champion! Do look out for the goals in Slandidno. They may appear cute, but each and every one is a psychopath intent on eating your chips. You are kidding me. You turn your back to look at goals for one minute and he's in a record shop quicker than you can say Shaken Stevens. Go on, soft lad. What have you bought? The record fair might not have been open today, but I've just found the Phil Spector Christmas album, which I've just bought. How good is that, eh? Christmas and a record in one sentence. I do apologise. These two are something of a slandered no legend and we recognise them every time we come here. Talking of being recognised, then this happened. We've been spotted and recognised up on the arm by Yasmin from Yasmin's Hiking Mission and an impromptu meetup was now on the cards. We thought the end of the pier would be a great place to meet up, so we walked right to the end. Looked for a place to grab a drink managed to bag a table in the sun and then realised there was absolutely no phone signal to tell Yasmin this. So we enjoyed two minutes of sea views, looked over the end of the pier and then started walking back, hoping we'd bump into her on the way. And we did! Well this is a first, we bumped into someone who we know through YouTube. We bumped into Yasmin from Yasmin's hiking mission. There she is! Hi everyone! <laughs> We went to one of our favourite pubs, the Cottage Loaf, and shared a quick drink and a few stories over a bag of crisps. Perfect. Then it was a stroll along the front, back to the cars, and it was positively summer by now. Thanks little steam engines, we've had a totally vibrant and victorious Victorian extravaganza. Just time for a few more views, a quick selfie, then we said goodbye to Yasmin as we headed off to our cars.
top day. What a fun day that was. Totally unexpected. This is not what we set out to do. We've had a right old Victorian day, a surprise meet-up. That was brilliant meeting, Yasmin. We'll see you back at the house. Well, we're back and what a surprise of a day that was. We set out to do something completely different. Out came the sun, out came the Victorians, and we had a cracking day. Mm. What did you think of that fair? It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. The, uh, the Ferris wheel, that was oh, faster fast. than the normal ones, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, really fast. That was quite good. Uh, I'll tell you what, the second one we saw, actually look faster than the one yeah, we went on. Yeah, it really did. Wish we'd gone on that. I love those steam road locomotives. They were cool, I've never they? seen anything like that before. I wanted to go on those sky swing things, but she wouldn't have it. <laughs> you could have gone on. I know, I know. <laughs> I think my favourite today was the tram. I really loved that tram. It was nice and gentle. You could just imagine the Victorians going up there nice, in style. And then we got spotted. By the lovely Yasmin. We did. That was so, so funny. Are you a bit landed now? Yes, we are, as it happens. It was funny, And it yeah. was lovely to meet up and yeah, have a chat. And yeah, I loved seeing the people dressed up. I wish we had there were more people Yeah, we, we, didn't, know, we yeah. didn't know it was going to be a Victorian... Well, we found out the night before that there was going to be some sort of Victorian fair. And we in thought my it was going to get rained off. Yeah, well, yeah. it was going to get rained off, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But in my mind, it wasn't so much a, a, a fair with Victorian rides. It was yeah. more... It was more stalls, people in Victorian dress, all that sort of thing. Well, which, a few vintage rides, Which yeah. there was a little bit of. Yeah. But but it, it was different than yeah. I expected. But it was okay. It, it was, was a fun. good day. And then walking down the pier in the full sun, you can't beat that, can I you? I know. And buying a Christmas album. Oh, that's what, what you like. I know. Okay. Well, well yep, yep. choking myself. If you would like this video, that would be absolutely great. And if you would hit that button and subscribe and hit the bell and all that lovely and stuff. And leave us a comment. Have you been to a Victorian fair? Have Did, you been to Slandidno? Have you been to Slandidno? It's a great place to visit. You mm. should visit. But we'll round up now. And as we say, in postcard and a pint. Cheers to the good times! Ooh, we had a lovely time in Slandidno, no, but we did come across some disgusting behaviour. This bloke and his missus, they were having a terrible fight, and then somebody called the police, and the policeman came, and the policeman started bashing this bloke over the head with his baton, and then the bloke grabbed the baton and started bashing the policeman over the head with his own baton, and then they started to bash the baby. <gasps> then what happened? A crocodile came and stole all the sausages. Oh.